Oh dear, oh dear. Faster and faster. Too fast for Thomas. He wanted to stop, but he couldn't. Peep, peep, stop, stop. He was out of breath, and his wheels hurt him, but he had to go on. I shall never be the same again, he thought sadly. He went home very slowly, and was careful afterwards never to be cheeky to Gordon again. Oh, I am stiff, I am stiff, he groaned. Thomas was a little engine with a long tongue. Oh, 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 oh dear, oh dear, they groaned. Serves you right, serves you right, puffed Thomas. That's good, that's good, puffed Thomas. Oh dear, groaned Thomas, I'm going to burst, I'm going to burst. Mm. That was good, said the Fat Controller. Thomas never could go fast at first. Why don't you go fast? Why don't you go fast? Called Annie and Clarabel. Oh! James's driver and fireman were feeling him all over. Keep out. Oh, said James. Oh. Ah. Something sticky splashed all over James. Oh. Help. I'm choking. Come on. Come on. He puffed. Oh, 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 oh. Screamed the truck. Oh, yes, I like children. Duck was delighted. Duck was very gentle with the coaches. Annie and Clarabel were impressed. It really is a pleasure to go out with him. The works had left Thomas's handbrake very stiff. It made Thomas a hard on. Thomas simmered happily. Stop, stop! Shrieked Annie and Clarabel. But Thomas kept on going. At last, Thomas was tiring. I need to stop. I need to stop, he panted wearily. They had not been touched for a long time. Backwards! Forwards! Oh! Oh! The trucks groaned. Grr, grr, gave a great heave. The trucks jerked forward. Oh! Oh! They screamed. Grr, grr, oh! 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 Look what you've done to our breakfast. I want a scarf, I want a scarf. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry. Engines don't wear scarves. Engines with proper funnels do, replied Percy. You've only got a small one. Oh! Sticky streams trickled down Percy's face. Percy's driver had taken away the trousers and given Percy a good rub down. Oh! Oh! Oh dear! Something thudded onto Percy's boiler. Ow! He came up behind Toby and gave him a bump. Get on, you! That night, Donald's driver and fireman got busy. Take that! Ooh, go faster, go faster! Mind your backs! He banged some trucks. I call him Bulgy. Look at Bulgy! Duck's crew examined the Bulgy, wedged firmly under... It's risky, but we must help the Bulgy. Duck wailed as he felt the bulging quiver. Squirted all over Percy. Lovely stuff. Oh, ah, uh, come. Faster, faster, they yelled. No, no. Disgusting. They stopped outside the tunnel. The workmen went inside. It was very dark and quiet. But not for long. Help! shouted the workman. We started to dig at the block, but it grunted and moved, one said. It's big and alive. We're not going in there again. This was worse. Something big and alive was inside. Oh dear, oh dear, puffed Henry. Then there was trouble. The block was indeed alive and very strong. It began to push the train backwards. Out of the tunnel came Henry. Then the trucks. And last of all, a large clock. Oh, it went all over Henry. Poor Henry. It gripped splendidly. He gave a great heave. Oh, groaned Scruffy. I don't like this. Oh! Oh! I'm coming apart! Oh. Serves you right, giggled the trucks. You were always barging in and moaning. 
Children can play in you all day. Oh. I'm hot. My engine will overheat. Thomas had never seen such a mess. <laughs> all they need is a good shove. We'll do it. The line of trucks. Too fast and too hard. On, on, faster, faster. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, faster, faster. Stop, stop. But it can be hot and dirty. Sometimes this makes the twins naughty. One morning they were feeling very naughty indeed. Oh, what's that? What's the matter now? What? Oh, yes! Soon Thumper was working hard. The men were pleased. Oh, no, it's heading straight for me. Where have you been? Snapped Cranky. Hurry up, barked Cranky. I haven't got all day. Cranky couldn't help himself. I can't take any more. Ah! Whoops, said Cranky, meekly. You've blown the main now, matey. The fat controller was in his office being measured. You have made a terrible mess, Cranky. I'm sorry, sir. That night at the sheds, the fat controller had something special to show the engines. It was very large and strange looking. Before he knew it, he was stuck in the middle. Oh, bother, chuffed Percy crossly. Little green piggy in the middle. Yes, sir. Bert chimed greasily. Little red piggy in the middle. James covered himself in... Thomas had never seen anything like it. He just couldn't wait. Before he could say anything else, the jet engine was rocketing Thomas up the track. Oh! Oh, boy! Thomas had never been so excited. Emily saw that Henry was leaving a puddle of water behind. He was leaving water everywhere as he chuffed. When Emily saw this, she was more worried than ever. He is bigger, added Percy. Emily was talking to the fat controller. Oh, I'm worried about Henry. Perhaps his tubes are leaking, replied the fat controller. You'd better check. Emily changed tracks and then hooked up to Henry. Oh, the children booed and ahed. Then the troublesome trucks decided to have some fun. Loose. Yuck. Thomas was out of control. Oops, said Thomas. Sorry. Salty was covered. Now I'll show Thomas who's best, Diesel whispered. And he gave Thomas an extra hard shunt and splattered down all over Thomas. Soon the diesels and the steamies were banging all over the island. The engines were in a terrible mess. Everyone needed a good washdown. I'm the strongest and the best. He was looking forward to seeing the children's faces. He loved hearing their cries. Now Thomas knew he wouldn't get to see the children. He couldn't have felt sadder. She made Thomas feel nervous. Just then, Percy chuffed into the station. You'll have a wonderful time. Pete Percy. Thomas stopped feeling nervous. Finally, Thomas arrived at the beautiful valley. There were woods and streams. Thomas was sure they would like this. Thomas thought very, very hard. And then he set off. Thomas pumped his pistons even harder to get to the other side. He rocked and he rolled. He huffed and he puffed. Thomas went faster and faster. No, no, no. Slow and strong is always best, tooted Henry. The fat controller, his wife and his mother were bounced and bumped inside the carriage. That come. Thomas let out a big whoosh of steam. Thomas felt upset. Then he saw the children. They were waiting on the platform. Thomas wished quickly over to collect them. Sticky toffee splattered everywhere. Oh no, moaned Thomas. I can't give the children rides when I'm this messy. Rosie stopped beside him. She was always pleased to meet Thomas. She liked him so much that she wanted to be just like him.
Hello, Thomas, puffed Rosie. I'll come as your back engine. But Thomas didn't want Rosie to come. No, thank you, Rosie, he huffed firmly, and he chuffed quickly away. But Rosie liked Thomas very much, so she chuffed cheekily after him. Rosie can't follow me now, he thought. Thomas was wrong. Rosie's boiler was bubbling right behind him. I'll just have to bash my way through, thought Thomas. He tried to push on, but he couldn't. He tried to back out, but he couldn't. Thomas was stuck. It's me, tooted Rosie cheerfully. Then she saw Thomas was stuck. Rosie was very happy. Rosie was soon coupled up to Thomas. Thomas was happy she had followed him after all. Between them was a big black truck. It was biffing and bashing the little engines. Black trucks don't worry me, boasted Thomas. I could biff him firmly into place. And there was Hector. Big, bad, strong and solid. Thomas decided to keep away. Later, Rosie puffed into the yard. Do we have to shunt and fill that big truck, Thomas? She asked sweetly. Yes, puffed Thomas, but he doesn't want to be filled. Rosie was so surprised. Thomas had had enough. He puffed bravely in front of Hector and gave him a mighty biff. I'm scared because I haven't been filled before. I don't know what it feels like. Thomas was surprised. Thomas wanted to help Hector. Now Hector was excited. I'd like to be filled too, he rumbled. Hector was quickly filled. It felt wonderful. See, it's not scary, tooted Thomas. Henrietta loved the foam. Alicia Botti thought it was fun too. Everyone had fun. Thomas' stinky cheese shot into the air and splattered down all over Thomas, Bert and Harry. Now we're really stinky, moaned Harry. The most stinkiest engines ever, groaned Bert. Harry and Bert rushed straight to the washdown. Thomas wanted to go to the washdown too, but Thomas's cheese was all over the track. It was time for Thomas to leave. He had seen everything.